Hi, Rusty with Springfield Leather. We thought we might take a minute and introduce you to the Class 26 by Cobra. Uh, leather Machine has done a great job of putting together a grouping of sewing machines for the leather world, and this is yet another one of them. It's a light duty cylinder arm machine, has the uh, versatility that you would expect with a cylinder arm. It doesn't quite stitch as heavily, but has some really nice features. One of those features is the flip down roller edge guide. If you're familiar with the heavy stitchers, they have a roller edge guide that slides left to right and mounts to the base. This one's really nice because it's easy to flip up out of the way. There's a couple of things that you need to know before you get ready to sew on it. For instance, I have a line on this piece of leather and that's where I want to sew. So this is adjustable from left to right by turning this screw, which is really nice because it allows for micro adjustments. So what I'm going to do to set it where I want it is I'm going to lift the presser foot and I'm actually going to put my needle down in this in this groove in the line that I've got and that will lock that piece of leather where I want it. I'll lift the roller edge guide up just a fraction, roll it right over to it till it's nice and snug, not pushing on it, just snug. And the important thing about it is, is at that point, you need to lock this set screw because there's a little bit of movement due to the teeth that are ground in this uh, adjustment. So once that's done, you just want to lock that screw, and then no matter what you're doing, that will sit there and it won't move back and forth. There's just, a, like I said, if that's not tightened, just a fraction of movement. So we're locked in and set and ready to stitch. I answered a specific question from a customer. He asked about being able to sew in a stitching groove line. It's a challenging thing because if you're not using some sort of a guide, it's going to be uh, really challenging because if you get up on one edge, you get on the other edge, it really shows. And what I mean is, is that you've given a line that you are obviously not following. And so it stands out pretty quickly, but let's go. Normally, without a guide, I would not do that into a groove simply because it demands that you really be following that line. But as you can see, with the roller edge guide, it does a pretty darn nice job. That really sets that stitch below the surface edge. If you wanted it on the back, you could do the same thing. Put a groove on the back of it. So let me tell you real quick about the capacity and the capabilities of this machine. This machine will stitch, uh, I usually recommend 3 8 possibly even a half inch. Uh, normally, the manufacturer will specify, and I'm sure that their manual does. I'm not uh, giving you the absolute specs on the machine. I'm telling you how I would recommend the machine to be used. Uh, if you're familiar with the Class 20, same capabilities. Uh, if you're familiar with the, you know, the uh, motors and the speed reducers that Leather Machine uses on theirs. Same, uh, same speed reducer, same servo motor. Has great speed control, allowing you to slowly turn corners, stitch as fast as you want, stitch as slow as you want. Uh, and comes with the same warranties. There's just not a lot different that you're going to find other than your thickness capability and this handy dandy roller edge guy. Thanks.